So in the original game, we would be climbing the wall at around like three hours into the experience. This is 33 hours of the experience. 34, really. So you can imagine there's a lot of new content and a lot of different stuff just because of that alone. Oh, I hate the helicopters. Why don't to get up there? Jump over all this shit! Not much choice. Zip. Yeah. What the? It's them. Avalanche. Two, three. This is one, four. We have contact. I guess everybody and their mother knows we're here now. It's just like you wanted, Barry. Are you weak to wind? That's a shame that my attacks are all wind based. Dick. Man, he's super dead. Barrett has a death wish? Barrett has like weird anger issues that make him make dumb decisions. Where's Cloud going? Dash Blade Geometry Dash? Man, I haven't played... Wait, you've talked about this before. I always confuse it with Geometry Wars. That's not what it is. I've got you covered. Are there more? Deal with that. There it. There you go. Yeah, kill that thing. Miss me. Good lord! This ain't no. I know you can do All it! Set. Too late! Watch yourself! Let's do this! Don't give up! That's that! You're hopelessly addicted! Where the hell would be in shuttle? Yes, Barrett, to hell with being subtle indeed. Would've been nice to be subtle. Not gonna lie. <coughs> oh, it's music. Well, that's sale stuff. Magician's bracelet, really don't need. You know, now's the time. Finally have enough money that I could just willy-nilly buy all of those things. Nothing I don't have now. I like it, Jesse. Do, 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 do. So how's your day going, Will? Whoa, 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 I see you, rope. Oh, that wasn't rope, that was rebar. Everyone's when really you feel like Barrett's yelling at your character from the shadows of the cave. Nice. 
<laughs> I see you stop playing Terraria and switch over to Starbound. Whatever you have more fun with, buddy. I feel like I'm playing Persona 5 again, looking for where the grappling hook goes off. Quick little browse in here, make sure we're not missing anything. You really love Starbound? That's how I am with Terraria. I really love Terraria. Zippity do that. I'm glad you're doing good, Will. Hmm. Robots. What was the I meal? Tell me about your dinner. <laughs> Yeah, three houses. Hmm, nothing to it. You have 80 bloodstone shards. What's the maximum possible number of bloodstone shards you could possibly need? I mean, if you're trying to like level up a I lot of things, you would need more. Me. But at 80, if you just have one weapon that you know you're trying to uh, level up, you're probably fine. Until you start looking for your twin stone, and then your chunks. And the relatively limited number of, uh, big ol' stones. <laughs> oh, it's always a joy when he does it. Oh yeah, now Still six. Damn. All right, almost, almost for subversion. So we got him here. Hi, potion. You also love Terraria? Terraria's great. I find it very, like, meditative and mindful to, in the early game, just be deep underground, leaving torches behind, digging up ore. Like, I, I get really into, like, putting the scaffolding up and making a proper little mining operation. Here. A modified version of the Slug Ray, larger than the original model but unable to fly, equipped with rapid fire grenade launchers that can eliminate multiple targets at once. Its stagger gauge is filled each time a certain amount of damage is inflicted. I got My turn. Yeah. I'm the lightning boy here. Just a no Take the lead. Oh, there. You're unaffected, so. Fire in one off. What's the ball? Ooh, we got a look. No surprises there. Any treasures? Nope. Have so many underground tunnels in your Kindle? Yeah, it's like a very, very meditative experience. 
Damn it. If any of this crumbles, we're all going down. Really laying on thick here, Baron. Stop playing your Kindle once you found out it wouldn't get 1.3 support. So you spent $30 to get that support you waited so long for. What was the $30? I only ever played Terraria on PC. I've never played on anything else. Up to Daisy. Ah, oh, you got it on the Switch. How is it on the Switch? I've never used a controller for Terraria, so I have no, like, concept of what that would be like. I've always played it with mouse and keyboard. Don't you ever forget this view. Alright, this is a very good look at what it looks like when the plate came down here. Ooh, subtle wave. Yeah, I'm guessing we're just at a different point on where the collapse happened. I think the slums we are in where Seventh Heaven was located was probably like Outer Ring, and that's why we were able to still find remnants of what was down there. Apple, how's it going? Yes, I am for the first time climbing these buildings here. We finished all side quest down below the only like only thing left I'm working on is I got six more materia I got a master which we're working on as we climb hey. it's also you can never ever sidetrack me with those kind of questions I did in fact get the second elemental materia at the end of 14 I love answering Bloodborne questions. Feel free to always ask Bloodborne or Dark Souls related questions. The Switch controls are whack, to be fair. They may be pretty okay, but you're used Just to having a side of the touchscreen to move up. and Save some for me. another use land. Oh, that would make sense. I've got more Maybe in handheld mode, going, the Switch okay. is a little more uh, comparable for you. That wasn't a joke. Can you explain why your armor has physical defense, thrusting defense, and blunt defense? So physical defense, you mo like you'll notice uh, blunt and uh, thrusting are indented a little neath underneath uh, physical. So you have like a blanket physical defense for any physical damage that doesn't fall into blunt or thrusting, and then That's specifically the blunt and specifically thrusting damage. So like if a dude with claws runs up and slashes at you, that's your physical defense. If someone hits you with a club, that's your blunt defense, and thrusting is for, like, piercy, down. pokey you can do stuff. Don't look down. Just keep going. Don't oh god, look I looked down, Barrett. Don't look down. Yeah, there's specific types. There's, like, two specific and one general category. So tell me, Apple, are you also playing this game? Have you finished it? Give me, give me your your thoughts and opinions, but don't spoil anything about what's happening past this point. Give it all you got. Spoiler free. I'd love to know what you think about it's your experience you. so far. <laughs> no, another Wyvern. I hate them. You're currently hunting and grinding for hard mode. You've been playing for 51 hours since it came out. Nice. So I'm at the, the 34 hour mark right now. Tifa? There you go. Yeah. 
worked up a good sweat. Good game. You're upset that it isn't the entire original game, but you understand why they had to split it up. Given how different things are, yes. And I, I appreciate that they decided to expand apart upon so many things, introduce all these new characters. I like a lot of the changes they made. I'm very curious to see where this all goes when we get to the end. I just hope we don't have to wait too long for the next part. Because I'm loving this, like I would I would just keep on playing if the game kept on going. No turning back. Need my help, do you? Yeah, well, you're the only range character. A bear, and B, you are spec for killing anything that flies. Would kill for a shower. And I would kill for a cheeseburger. Reuse assets in the background? I would hope so. I mean this is a huge vista. It would save a lot of work and a lot of time. You get new game plus hard mode and chapter select after you beat the game? Nice. Yeah, I do need to, um... Oh, you can get a cheeseburger, you lucky bastard. The only real thing I'm missing so far is I'm missing a few music tracks. Ooh, it found us. Hi. That son of a bitch is back. I thought we lost him. Looks like there's only one way to go. We're headed that way anyway. You're cured, you can lick doorknobs again. <laughs> Cloud wants to proceed. Fine, I'll wait. Wait for it. Ow. Yeah, Gomber gets mad when we make jokes about licking doorknobs. Even though it's a time-honored American tradition. Nothing I can grab behind me. Ow. Just accept my licks, I guess. What a dick robot. You want some of this? We're playing Chapter 8 for the third time and second to last. I need to find that really good, like, trap remix from the, uh, collapsed highway area. It bugs me I don't have that yet. One thing that's weird that I do want to talk about is I think it's strange that they renamed the all material. God damn it. Cloud. And that they're so hard to find now. Don't overdo it. Oh my. Watch your I'm counting okay. on you. How are we doing in health? Cloud could use a little bit of healing. Yeah. Oh, one stagger? No, oh, I hate that you can't reach them when they stagger. There we go. That's the big hit. Let's do this. Annoying robots. Yeah, the effects can be a little bit loud. Give me one of them. I wasn't really asking a question so much as I was saying I thought it's weird that they changed the all materials name. And that they're so hard to find. Like, there's only one I have so far. Now expand material. Ow, ow. 
I don't think we need to do Infinity Edge to kill it. Let's go for that. Don't stop now. Let's kick it up Oh, give me a focus shot. Bring it home. Let me handle it. Come on, it's my turn. I hate the stupid wind thing. Oh, you want to touch me? That's too bad. Get out of here. Yeah, there's only the one expand material, and it's not even called all. It's weird. How's it going, Mighty Odin? Point to the guy you have to kill to get less than 10 seconds of latency. Just gotta embrace the latency, make it a part of the experience. Rub my face on all the walls to see if there's any secrets anywhere. These Tachikoma are not very nice. They're supposed to be nice. Please elaborate. Oh my god, I love the view. Maybe we should have taken that route. Just kind of like gradually slope up and then climb up and on top of that. I feel like we took the hard route. Oh, the big spider robots from Ghost in the Cell. Uh, Ghost in the Shell. I definitely did not remember their names. Yeah, this is all you, Barrett. Doing the same thing, murdering him. Gotta love it. Check out this shit right here. Good job. There you can stop. Whatever, man. <laughs> Whatever, man. Sale items? That's not what I clicked on. That's fine. They always sound like little girls and they're very sweet and cute. Right until the Gatling guns come out. And Major has to rip her arms off to try and get in there. <clears throat> I should watch Standalone Complex. That's been on my list of things to consume for a while. Kappas. Kappas are the, the butthole vampires. There you go. Ooh, music's fading. We also just got a nice, like, heal and rest opportunity. I think there might be a boss fight. Cloud. I've heard good things about Standalone Complex. I've only seen the Ghost in the Shell movies, haven't seen the shows. Ghost in the Shell was one of the first VHS movies I ever bought for myself. Yeah. We will. You'll help too, won't you? For a price. Hmm. So funny when he makes jokes about wanting to be paid for his labor. 
nothing else to pick up here, so we might as well go straight for the grapple point. You've also seen the movie, but none of the shows. I imagine that's pretty common. <laughs> the special area blockbuster. Oh, you mean you've also bought the VHS as one of your your earlier purchases? Yeah, I think Ghost of the Shell was the first VHS I ever bought for myself. And my first DVD I ever bought for myself was uh, the Record of a Lotus War box set. Yeah, I realized you were talking about uh, the VHS. Run! Oh, but there's boxes! I'm not allowed to press the square, alright. That's okay then. We'll try and convince him to shoot for us. It is in the job description, it's true. It's getting tired of playing tag anyway. Come on. It's on you. Alright, watch and learn. Alright, step one. Assess the situation. A high-speed aerial weapon manufactured by Shinra's Advanced Weaponry Division. Its giant cannon launches grenades and status ailment bombs. Melee, lightning, and wind attacks rapidly fill its stagger gauge. But long-range and magic attacks have only a slight effect. All attacks have a slight effect on its stagger gauge during limiter override. Deal a certain amount of physical damage to slow its movements. Must remain emotionally unavailable to maintain badass appearance. A cloud's more complicated than that. Thank you very much. Wind damage. Evil Dead was also one of my first VHS experiences. I borrowed that from a friend in... Oh my god, it was elementary school I borrowed that VHS from a friend. And then around middle school I got it for myself. Sean or Dawn? I mean, Shaun of the Dead is a great movie. Dawn of the Dead... I actually like the remake, possibly more than the original, which I know is sacrilegious in some service. It was just very good. We're talking Evil Dead. Starring Bruce Campbell, one of the single greatest actors ever, ever to live. I love him. Terrifying to think about how high up they are. That was close. And his goddamn yeah, stagger gauge reset. Yeah, I hear you. This boat is in touch with that. Right into it. Come on. Let's do this. Baron, how you hanging up over there? You doing I'll okay? Keep it together. Oh god, Barry, you're standing in fire. to being pressured. Let's see, we have Fat Kokobo, Leviathan. Let's go with Leviathan. And he has the damage up for some <laughs> item on. Oh, come on, I just summoned. Array. 
It's from Ghost of the Shell, not Ghost of the Shell, it's from uh it is. Oh you gotta be <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to say it's from Akira. God damn. coming from like a little drone that's flying around, but it's behaving very similar to the one from Akira right now. Star shower switch. Go for those big, big hits. Take them down. And orbit ray, yes. Right into. You. All right, I like that as an, an attack we can exploit. That amuses me greatly. Thanks, y'all. Yeah, follow me. Come here, Orbital Ray. Right here. Do it. Bye. <coughs> we very satisfying. Not that there was ever any doubt. <laughs> Self-destruct. Oh boy. Why'd you let go of your gun, Barrett? Barrett! <laughs> Is it really necessary for security? Definitely. <laughs> Leviathan's a good summon. I remember the part of the Final Fantasy VIII demo that like blew me away was the Leviathan summon in the Final Fantasy VIII demo. Thing is too much excitement. Yeah. Hey, you don't get to be soldier first class without having reflexes like that, you know? And there's still more to come. Yes, so. Hope everybody's warmed up. <laughs> End credits, that's the end of the game. Looks like there's more to come. The pizza in the sky. Achievement earned. Talking about Barrett? Oh, when he grabbed, uh... Grabbed out of the air? Diablo is a great summon too in Final Fantasy VIII? Yes. Ooh. Iconic moment there. That's one of the the new themes that are available on the PlayStation 4. Is him looking up at the building. That's good. <clears throat> Rolled out the welcome wagon. Gotta say, I can't help but wonder if this is a lost cause. Well, you know, 
Some lost causes are worth fighting for. Let's just think this through. My god, we get to go so, at the end of the staircase? I got an idea. Frontal assault, guns blazing. Make for a good story. Why'd we bring you along again? <laughs> Rear entrance. We'll get inside via the parking garage. Shinra building. Infiltration. Pandemonium or Garuda for winds? And the original Final Fantasy VII? Because this one we haven't had a summon for wind. Nor have we had a summon for lightning. Like, where's Ramu? I'm kind of shocked we haven't found that. Got two, two Moogle-related summons, which is shocking. No way, two uh, Kokobo-related summons. I guess two Moogle and Kokobo-related summons. And I know Carbuncle was was a DLC exclusive one. And obviously, I gotta see what's over here. You're trying to make Felix get the less, least amount of kills because he's an asshole to everybody? Everyone has their reasons. That's my favorite part of Three Houses. It's you're like, oh, this guy sucks, and then, like, you get to know them, like, oh, I understand why their personality is the way it is. Security is looking I like pretty that. Tight. Huh. So they know what they're up against. Somehow Three I don't think it's all rogue for us. agents. Could be for Avalanche. Or maybe even Wu Tai. Can't be for Wu-Tai. What about the ceasefire? That only put the war on pause. How can you get a... Oh, how can you get me the DLC Carbuncle? I am unsure. I haven't looked into it. It might be related to Butterfinger or something? Like, it's weird. Let's take a, a hot second here. To Google... Final Fantasy VII DLC. Remake DLC. Oh my god, Carbuncle's so adorable! This forehead's huge! If you pre-order or purchase the deluxe or first class edition directly from Sony, your DLC will be available in the PlayStation Store. But they have to be downloaded separately. I imagine there's like an upgrade to Deluxe or something. I think there's one other DLC one. I think we have that because that's just a pre-order bonus that's blanket across everything. We're here to rescue Aerith, remember? We don't need more attention than what we're gonna get. We need to be smart. Yeah, I, I think that was Kokobo Mog. screaming for payback, you know? I'm a ticket time bomb. And sooner or later, I'm gonna have to blow up. <laughs> well, then make it oh my later. god, Barrett, I love you. I need a scene where Barrett hugs Cloud. That's like one thing I desperately require. If not in this, then in the DLC. You have to give me a box of candy bars? I don't know. Felix gets better as you go. He's not an asshole forever, and he learns to work with and respect lady fighters. I don't know what that is. I'll watch that later. Grandma sent me a weird video. There you go. He hates everyone equally. But again, like, he learns to respect everybody. I like Felix's growth. He gets better. So I didn't like him at first either. I will try and look into what we need to do for... for Kabunkle.
he just says mean stuff. Like I said, as he gets better relations with the people in the party, he gets better. He's almost like Jamie Lannister? Yeah. Except that one there. Felix has That's the decency to have a character arc that doesn't undermine itself at the end. <gasps> I wonder if there is an option to take the front front entrance. How's it looking out there? Yeah, like I said, undermines his entire fucking character arc. I really despise the last season of Game of Thrones. Anything? Nah. Up Nothing there. underneath the truck, Fuck. sir. We're only paid to check under there. Okay, head on in. <sighs> so far, so good. What the truck just say? <laughs> Where'd you come from? <laughs> Concentration. <laughs> so much for the element surprise, am I right? <laughs> Hey, what's going on? Nothing. Bring it on. The idea was to not get noticed. Still think my style. Don't remember. Maybe, maybe not. Good attack. Ooh. Magic up. Subversion. Oh, thank God. It's finally over. It's nearly like a proper fighter now. Let's keep moving. Should be a service entrance in the back. See, that's the thing. He could and he did quit Cersei. And then they just like, uh, yeah, but let's like not follow through with that and instead just fuck it up. For the fourth time. Fourth time? Krios is on his uh, 14th time. These are baby numbers you're pulling in here. What's the situation? Can't get in contact. Oh, the situations were fucked, sir. Get I didn't even notice you show up. Let's do this. Come at me, fool. Cloud, put your sword up. You're killing me here, Cloud. Literally. That's all I wanted. Have the Kanehurst invitation yet? 
Let's see, you just finished Shemek Channel Lane, so you need to do... You won't be able to get that until after Vicar Amelia. Unless... Did you kill the werewolf in the very beginning of the game? If you left the werewolf alive from the very first, like, five minutes of Bloodborne, you could go get the invitation right now. Yeah, no, I'm with Krios on this one. You like Lawrence, but hate Felix? I hate Lawrence. He's the character I have, the, like, the most trouble accepting as a good person. So, the werewolf at the very beginning of Bloodborne, if you have him follow you outside, go over to where the gates you open from the other side is that goes to the well and the, the rooftop access to... Uh... I forget the name of it. The, the medical place that you spawn in. Uh, the werewolf's grab attack will actually push you through the gate. And you can sequence break and go to the Forbidden Woods immediately. You can go and get the Kaner summons. You can get a bunch of, like, late game stuff. It's crazy how sequence breaky that is. It's uh, a speedrunner trick. So basically, the system is you have the werewolf follow you outside, you bring him over to where the gate is, uh, he grabs you, it pushes you through the fence, and you can open up the gate there, you can go down to the well, you can go up into Yosefka's Clinic. There we go, Yosefka's Clinic. My brain remembered the name. And that's a fun sequence break opportunity. I went backwards. Felix does eventually show kindness. You need to do all of his, uh, his, like, bonding activities and up his rank with everybody. Actually, you could survive it when you first spawn. It's, it's a sequence break you can do in the first five minutes of the game. The grab is not a one-shot. You have to be careful, though, because his, a few of his other attacks are one-shotty. I've actually been kind of wanting to restart a, a new character in Bloodborne and do that and just see if I can break the game a little bit. Normally I try and get like Whirly Gig early, and that's my, my big thing, but this would be even more enter entertaining. Maybe because I brought him into the Golden Deer, but I always thought he could became super nice as he went forward. Not like super super nice, but like he certainly softs, softens up, softens up quite a bit. There we go. Sorry, playing a video game and also trying to talk about another video game. If you don't attack the two talking guards, they unlock a door. I have never played this game before. This is my first time through, so it's less of a remember and more of a what? Please explain more. Is this uh, ahead of me? Is something I can do still? Or is this in the past and I fucked it up? Right, we gotta use some of these items. We have a bunch of bottles of cocktails we've never thrown. So we're gonna run into two talking guards, and we can eavesdrop and they'll open a door for us? Is it these two guys? No, there's three people there. And they clearly already want to fight. If 
Ferdinand. He's a good guy. I like most of the characters in Fire Emblem. Lawrence is the only character I'm like, uh. So many boys. Clap. See, it's just in a bunch of boxes. Oh, there goes Clap. All right, Barrett. We still got a Sometimes there's a lot of glowing effects in this game. And I'm not sure where I am. Let's do Good lord! Shiva! Good Christ, there was so much magic! Alright, right, Cloud, Spell, Race, Tifa, Barret. They're all dead. Ace down Cloud. Goodbye, Will uh, Mighty Odin. No! Oh, Christ. Alright, race Tifa. You okay? Tifa. Of course. Uh. Turbo Ether, T5. Good Christ, no! She's not the main character, don't focus on her anymore! Alright. Item. Mega Potion Tifa, please. Mega Potion yourself, Cloud. Star shower. Ah, uh, we could put her off healing. Watch yourself. Take it over. Focus on the dog. Nothing personal. Yeah, I didn't realize they're gonna have quite this much activity with just these shield guys. It turns out it was a whole large group of people. Back off! There's no escape! But now that all the other stuff is dead, we can roll around the shield, guys. And also do a little bit of this. It's over. There we go. Good lord. That was a rough one. Come on. We need to move. So yeah, Kree guy. Is there... Are these talking guys still ahead of me, or is this a, a thing I missed in the past? Everyone knows you're here, that's very true. We're shooting machine guns! Oh, that's... Oh, uh, something I missed already? Hopefully I didn't miss out on too much with that. Alright, this lets me go in here. Which you've already been through. So I guess we'll take a peek. Now this is when we first came in. Good lord, it's been a while. <coughs> Hello? Hello? 
Oh, all right. Not here. Wait, did we just go into the main entrance? No, we're in the parking garage, right? Good, I want to go up the endless staircase. Oh, I'm so tired. You guys don't like escalators? Seriously, are you afraid of it? There you go. Your turn, Tifa. I don't think you need to stand that close to me, but... It's fine. Watch your step. Fun fact, escalators in Japan, people stand on the left-hand side to ride the escalator, and then the right-hand side is used for walking up the escalator. That way there's no congestion or angry people trying to ride the escalator. Fun, fun, additional fact. If you're in the northern portion of Japan, it's what I just said. If you're in the southern portions, the sides are flopped. Yeah. So in Osaka, right-hand side you wait. Do you have any idea Tokyo, where you might left -hand be holding side. Aerith? I'm thinking a research facility. That'd make the most sense. And where is that? Upper floors. Maybe near the top. That's where you are. Weird lobby. Maybe. Maybe we can use the console at the reception desk to find out. I wonder what all the floors of Shinra are for. Like the upper floors, this we know. This building's incredible. Uh, the original game. monument to corporate greed. One of these days, I'm going to tear it down and burn them up. But not today. Oh my god, you want to know something I'm very excited to see in the, the later game releases? Sister Ray in HD 3D attached to this giant building. <gasps> Can we find the motorcycle we're gonna ride? But I don't think we should try touching it. Shit, making life long. Let's just keep heading up. All right, I'm guessing that's the truck we're gonna drive out. And that's probably the motorcycle we're gonna ride. Walked by a chest in a corner. <gasps> Rub the walls. Left from where I am at the moment. Eventually, we're gonna find whatever corner it's in. So, how do we get upstairs? Either the elevator or there the emergency is. stairwell. Isn't the lab we're looking for on one of the top floors? I vote we take the elevator. Escalator, I think you mean, and very specifically the down escalator. Damn it. I'm always getting in my way. Nevertheless, we go up the down escalator. Ooh, or is that the motorcycle we're gonna ride? This is looking more like the one we're gonna be riding. This is our motorcycle right here. Maybe the car's up here too. I like the lobby music, it's good. Where is everybody today? Need a key card. Are you telling me I can't go through this velvet rope? It's impenetrable. I know I didn't mean to click it. Sorry, get off. No getting upstairs without a key card, huh? I think we're gonna need a few before this Welcome is to the velvet rope. Pretty sure I saw one lying around. Oh, 
The reception desk. Yeah, but how to get in? Dropping down into the hole in the top. Go up and over, maybe? Look. Pretty sure we could reach it if we hop across those lights. I don't know. Seems exceptionally dangerous. I think I'll give it a shot. Huh? As the lightest one here, I figure I've got the best chance. You two can And I know sit how to do a somersault. <clears throat> Okay, guys. Hello? Wish me luck. You be careful. Aren't I always? <laughs> All right. Obviously, got to look around, see if there's like material lying about. No. Yeah, I think we just focus on going forward. <laughs> Excuse me? Hey, Tifa and Trap Tifa! Oh shit! Tifa! <laughs> Good thing this pillow okay? is here. I thought I was dead for sure. They have a crude more. Trying to get Tifa killed? There we go. Nope. Still don't have a control. There we go. Those pauses are very weird. I like this track. There's so much good music in this game. It's amazing. This is another very good song. Two thousand gil. 